Here we are at Horse Pond Road in Hudson. And as you can see, the uh, crossing right there. Way down there would be the west switch to the uh, ammunition, to the Ordway Ammunition U.S. Military Reserve. As John walking back towards us. side of the uh, road there is the track continuing to head west towards Hudson here's the other side of Horse Pond Road looking west towards Hudson All they got to do is just clear this brush out and that track is going to be looking pretty good because it looks like it's in pretty good shape. This is Horse Pond Road. This is where the crossing was. And that's back looking east. Okay, this is the site of the Ordway Station here in uh, Hudson. This is uh, near where Lake Boone would have been. It was a nice summer resort as you see the sign there saying entering Lake Boone so in the summertime this was a very popular power truck very popular summer resort area so there are the tracks heading towards Hudson spin back around again saw my car there that's heading back towards Sudbury and I'm not sure where the shack would have been uh, could have been anywhere probably most likely would have been right here as you can see that little driveway right there probably would have been it okay this is the Ordway station I don't see anything else of interest here no signal boxes nothing we are at the main street crossing here in Hudson. It's a clearing is still pretty good. So this is the tracks came in right over there. Looking back towards Sunbury on a very windy day. Crossing was right here on Main Street. some kind of a signal post right here as you can see I don't know what that would have been for it's probably for the uh, crossing signal so I don't think it was the crossing signal but I think it was probably connected to the crossing signal so right there and as we come around by right there you can't see the tracks on this side because of the brush either but if I pan back you can see this is where the tracks went. The tracks are heading towards Gleasondale Station, uh, which is on the Stowe Hudson Line. This is Main Street in Hudson. <clears throat> okay, now we're in Hudson, Mass. And this is uh, the, where the rock bottom Gleasondale station would have been. Hard to see the tracks. As a matter of fact, there are no tracks down there uh, in this part of the right of way. As you see right down there, you can just barely see the opening of the bridge that used to go under here. So, and right over here on the other side, you can see the tracks. Little ties. Yeah, some ties just thrown aside there.
And then it looks like the tracks start up again right over there. It's a damn shame that they let railroad railroads go like this. But it looks like the bridge is filled in a little bit here. But there is a tiny opening. So this was originally called Rock Bottom and then it became Gleasondale Station. Gleasondale is a little village in Stowe, Massachusetts and we are right on the town line with Hudson and Stowe. Right over there uh, where well you see the change of color in the uh, pavement is probably where the town line is. And that's the village of Gleasondale right on the other side. Which is part of... Well, they claim it's part of Hudson and Stowe, mostly in Stowe, but I think it's all in Stowe. Uh, only the uh, Mass Central Station was, uh, was here. So, but I'm uh, going to try and find a path to see if we can get down into the uh, right-of-way. Okay, down here in Gleasondale Station, and I found the tracks on the uh, east side, They're right here. Can't actually see them too well from up on the road. But uh, you can see all these little pathways would have marked where a station would have been. As we come right over here, see some stuff thrown on top of the tracks there. Illegal dumping, probably. But the, uh, the tracks are right there and they get buried in mounds. There's probably been a lot of landslides. But here's the track, and there's the road where I was, and this is where the Gleasondale Rock Bottom Station was, here in Hudson, Mass, on the Stowe Town Line. As you see, the bridge is mostly filled in. And, uh, Okay, we're here in a part of Hudson that, according to the Mass Central book, used to be called Skeeterville. And if any of you are Mama's Family uh, fans, you know that's what uh, Vinton used to call Naomi, a Skeeter. So uh, this is Skeeterville. And uh, that's Route 62 down there. And there used to be an iron bridge that went over Route 62, and then after 62, there was an iron trussel bridge that went over the Marlboro branch of the Fitchburg, which is now the Assabet River Rail Trail, which is right over there. We'll be going over there in a few minutes. So, this is where the Mass Central crossed over on an overpass on Route 62, heading into the town of Hudson. Route 62, the tracks, there's John How taking his documentary. Can you believe this? It's a damn shame. I know. This, this track should still be in service, I don't care. So, As but, a tourist line at least. Yes. But that's our opinion. So, onward we go. Okay, we're here on the other side of the Skeeterville. The Route 62 bridge, and you see the switch for the connection to the Marlboro branch is still here, right there, going down, and that's the main line over there going to what would have been an iron over, iron trussel overpass over the uh, Marlboro branch, which was called the Skeeterville Bridge. So. So this is a uh, this is the Skeeterville section of Hudson, although I don't think they refer to it as Skeeterville anymore. And again, down there is the Marlboro branch of the Fitchburg, and later the Boston and Maine. So probably take a walk down the uh, paths here and see what's so exciting about both tracks. 
Okay, right there is the Skeeterville Bridge or where it would have been going over the Marlboro Branch. And there's the Marlboro Branch right down there. The Marlboro Branch was part of the Fitchburg. It went from South Acton to downtown Marlboro. And it fell under the Boston and Maine in 1900. And of course, the Mass Central was supposed to be an independent line, but uh, was leased to the Boston and Lowell. And then a year after that, it, uh, Boston and Lowell became part of the Boston and Maine. So in 1900, the Boston and Maine had two branch lines crossing right here. And there's the connection the B&M built between the two uh, railroads. So it's no sign of a telltale here, here for the uh, bridge that went over. So uh, uh, the track stopped right there at that embankment. Uh, it doesn't continue to go over the uh, rail trail. So just go down to the uh, connecting track here and see how far it okay, goes. Okay, we followed the connection track uh, from the Mass Central Main Line to the Marlboro. And it comes right down here. Would have crossed over this little brook and would have met right about there and there's the road crossing up there for the Marlboro branch not sure what this river is maybe the Assabet maybe the Assabet River so coming under here and uh, way over there if you can see it you probably can't because of all the br brush and everything, but over there is the Central Mass Main Line. And right back there, as I zoom in, that's where the uh, Skeeterville Bridge would have gone over, right approximately where that park bench is. That's where the Skeeterville Bridge would have been. So this is the Skeeterville area of Hudson. Our next stop to look at the line through Hudson Center. Here we see the uh, bridge abutments of what was called the Skeeterville Bridge that went over the Marlboro Branch, which is what I'm standing on. And over there are the abutments for the, uh, for the other side of the Skeeterville Bridge. See them right there, the rocks formation. And so this is where the bridge, the central mass, crossed over the Marlboro branch and right there clear as day is the tracks that connected the two branches together after they both fell under the Boston and Maine okay here at Cox Street COX C -O -X, in uh, Hudson we're approaching Hudson Center and we're just past the Skeeterville Bridge and this is uh, the track coming in crossing over the street here and it continues over there yes there is track over there but uh, we have to walk over there to see it better well, uh, and right over there is the Marlboro Branch can you imagine that two railroad crossings here on the street so there's the Marlboro Branch, and then soon will be a bike path here for the old Mass Central. And uh, there's a truck. Oh, that truck's gonna turn off, so I'm gonna walk across here. Of course, they put up the uh, lowered the road just a little bit. So, but right there is the track heading for Marlboro Center. And this is Cox Street in Hudson. Okay, now here's the uh, Mass Central's trussle over the Assabet River here in Hudson. We're just a little outside of uh, Hudson Center itself. But uh, this is the nice little trussle that was built over a railroad, by the railroad over the river. Now I'm going to go see if I can actually get some pictures from the track. Well, I can't actually get on top of the trussle because, as you see, there's a big tree right there blocking the 
way. So this is about as close as I'm going to get. And this is the Mass Central Railroad's trussel over the Assabet River. Heading right into Hudson. Of course, there's the river right there. There's Route 62 going over right there. The Assabet River Trussell. Okay, we're in downtown Hudson. I'm going through it right now. That's High Street right there. It went over the railroad tracks on a bridge, and as you see, the bridge is filled in. They'll have to clean it out if they're going to put a bike path under there. And uh, we have a post right here with an R on it, indicating that there is a road crossing. The road crossing's right here. We said this was what street? Manning. This is Manning. This is the Manning Street crossing here in Hudson Center. And uh, right next to St. Michael's Church, so Mass is going on. I've already been to Mass. And there's a uh, there's a little walking path that goes over the mill pond. That little walking path leads to Hudson Station. So let's, uh, let's take a walk over there and see what we can see. Okay, I'm standing on top of the uh, trussle over the mill pond here in Hudson. And this is a dual video. You're going to see this in both the Lancaster Railroad video and you're going to see it in the Central Mass. So if you're looking at it from the Lancaster, this is where the trussel would have crossed over somewhere right around here to come in to Hudson from Lancaster. We believe that the picture that was taken in the Mass Central book was taken on this far side I was looking up in this neighborhood, which of course is really built up now, and that the trussel probably came across at a diagonal right over to there and curved into Hudson Station. Hudson on the Marlboro Branch. Now for the Mass Central, there we are looking back at uh, Manning, where we were, and there is John way down there at the crossing taking his videos, getting ready to come over here. And this is a walking path that they put in between the rails so that people could use this as a hiking path across the mill pond. So as you see. And Hudson Station is over on that side. Uh, you have to go over another street, then down a bicycle path, and then you're at uh, the Hudson Station. But this is the mill pond in Hudson. That was crossed by both the Mass Central and the Lancaster Railroad. So this is dual. So for both the Lancaster video and the Mass Central video, uh, both videos, moving on. Okay, we're now still in Hudson Center. That's where we were uh, when we were on the trussel going over the mill pond. And that is uh, Church Street over there. That's where the Church Street crossing was. And there is the parking lot for the uh, old train station. People would get off and walk along the walking path alongside the uh, tracks. Uh, that was the walking path alongside the tracks. The tracks actually were right here where the red car is parked. And the uh, tracks crossed right here. And then there's the right of way. Okay, here is the uh, old Hudson train station. As you can see, it's a uh, it's now like an office building, but it's good that they pres at least preserve the stations. So this is Hudson Station, the weather vane way up there. So you can see it. 
a lot of uh, well, train stations had weather vanes on them so we could see which way the wind was blowing. And as you see, the uh, train station is pretty well preserved here. You have an insurance company and a few other things here as we walk along the Hudson. See, it says Hudson Depot office building. Right there, Hudson Depot office. And uh, we have a few accountants, some uh, tailors, and uh, insurance. And here we are. Coming along here. We have uh, some eye doctors right here. So this is the old Hudson train station. And the Fenton Street station is right there. Fenton Street, excuse me, not Fenton Street station, Fenton Street. Here's where the old tracks were. As you can see, parking lot for this new church. It's all grown over. And uh, there's another mile, uh, mile post right there. And uh, the uh, track's going off in that direction. And this is the Hudson train station.